Hello everyone. In this problem, we are given an array of lowercase English characters called tasks, and we are also given an integer called cooldown period. Each task can be completed in one second. The cooldown period is the amount of time that must be between two tasks of the same letter. However, during the cooldown period, we can still complete other tasks of different letters. So for example here, if we have the letters A, A, B, B, we can do task A at second one, since our cooldown period is 2, before we do task A again, we have to wait 2 seconds. During the cooldown period between the two task A's though, we can do one of the task B's. We can't do another task B though, because then we are doing two task B's faster than the cooldown period. Our goal is to find the minimum amount of time it will take to complete all the tasks. So for this example, the fastest we can complete these four is in 5 seconds. We can do A and B in the first two seconds. We have to wait one second doing nothing. Then we can do A and B again in seconds four and five. Now that you understand the problem, let's try and come up with a solution. For some given tasks, we can first identify the task that is most frequent. For this example, the A is our most frequent with a count of four. We want to focus on the most frequent task because it is going to determine the minimum time we need to complete the tasks. As you can see, we know at the minimum, it is going to take 10 seconds to finish all four A tasks. At this point, we can try and fill in some of the open time we have with the other tasks B and C. Our final answer is going to be 10 for example one. Example one demonstrates one of the cases when all the other tasks can fit in the cooldown period of the most frequent task. As you can see, here, the two C's and one B can fit within the cooldown periods between processing the A's, the A's being the most frequent. Here's another example. In this example, the most frequent task is still A with a count of four, but this time, all the other tasks cannot fit within the cooldown periods. We need three more seconds for the other tasks, bumping the final answer to 13. Finally, we have our third and final case, where multiple tasks are tied for most frequent. So in example three, you can see that both task A and task B are the most frequent with four occurrences. Let's go through how we can determine the answer for each of the cases. For case one, since all the tasks fit within the cooldown of the most frequent task, then we know that the time to process the most frequent task is the limiting factor, and we don't have to pay attention to the other tasks. The time it takes to process the most frequent task is equal to the cooldown period plus one times the amount of the most frequent task minus one and then plus one. For the second case where all the other tasks cannot fit in the cooldown period, then the answer is just going to be the number of tasks to complete because there's no wasted time on the cooldown period because every second is going to be used processing exactly one task. For the third case, this is similar to the answer for the first case, but instead of just plus one, it is going to be plus however many letters have the most frequent task count. So in this example of three, that would be two because A and B are the two letters with the most frequent count of four. We can actually generalize the first case to use this same formula because in the first case, the amount of tasks with the most frequent count is always just going to be one. To build our solution, we need to compute all the variables we needed for the answers to each of the cases. We are already given the cooldown period, and length of tasks is trivial to compute. The two variables we don't have are the frequency of the most frequent tasks, and the amount of tasks with this max frequency. Here is how we will compute these two variables in our code. First, we build a frequency dictionary, mapping each task letter to the frequency that it occurs. Then we iterate through that dictionary, keeping track of two variables. The maximum frequency, this is the amount of times the task with the max frequency occurs, and also the max frequency count. This is the amount of task letters that have the max frequency. For every key value pair in the frequency dictionary, if the frequency of the current key value is greater than the max we have encountered so far, we update the max frequency to this value and set the max frequency count to one for whatever letter the key is. If we encounter a letter with the same frequency as the current max frequency, then we increment the max frequency count by one. Once we have computed all the information, then our answer is just the max of the two cases. We take the max here and not the min because the max corresponds to what answer case the input actually is for. 
In other words, if the length of tasks is greater than the formula, then we are in case 2. But if the length of tasks is less than the formula, then we must be in case 1 or 3. Now to the time and space complexity analysis. If we let n be the number of tasks and d be the number of lowercase English characters, our time complexity is n for the first for loop plus d for the second for loop. Since d is a constant, this finalizes to O of n. For space, we have d space used for the frequency dictionary, but d is constant, so we have constant space complexity. Okay, I think this is actually the most optimal solution, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and good luck on all your interviews.